Carrie Cohen. We're here in Los Angeles celebrating the premiere of Hulu's new show, Unprisoned. Get ready for a first look. You ready to be unprisoned? Yes, sir. Oh, hallelujah! And I assume he'll be living with you? Oh, oh no, that's no Absolutely no-go. not. Stage, you dating any black man yet? Oh, God. When did I get to meet my grandson? Mama said I could take you to ice cream, you know, so we can bond. I might have a proposition for you. You have a driver's license. What was it about this character that was really at the heart of him for you? At the heart of um, this character for me was the opportunity to tell a story that might potentially change people's minds about what they think of when they think about uh, a formerly incarcerated human being. Comedy to that. What was that That's like right. towing the line between drama and comedy? Yeah, interesting because I did not think of the work in those kinds of terms, even though it was made clear to me look, this is a dramedy, we, we want some comedic elements. All what I did was applied myself as fully as I could to the work at hand, to the script, to um, the scenes that were in front of me, and try to play those scenes as, as truthfully as I could. That's what I did. First of all, Tracy's an incredible writer, so it just was so fun from the very beginning, and I thought it would be a blast to do. But also, I just identified with her. I identified with being somebody who wants to be a really good daughter and a really good mother, you know, that kind of sandwich generation idea. Um, I love that she um, is so invested in kind of self-help and exploration of psychology. Those are things that interest me. But really, I was moved by the themes of the show and the miracle that is Tracy's life. You know, I was. we tell a lot of stories about what it's like to go into prison or what it's like to be in prison, but to tell the story of a formerly incarcerated person who's re-entering society and what it's like to love somebody who's a re-entering citizen. Like, those are themes that I just thought, wow, this is so important. And if we can tell this story with joy and love, then this is really an extraordinary opportunity. You can stay with us for as long as you need, but the same rules still apply, no, right? Don't get in your business. And don't put the knife back in the jelly after I done licked it. Are you doing that? No, that was a joke. Baby. No. Do you want no. your own no. shelf in there? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. <laughs> so it's so great to have everyone here in one space. So let's talk about your character. What was your favorite part getting to play him? Um, Carrie Washington's my mom. That's like so awesome. Um, one of my favorite parts is just uh, getting to uh, to G. You look amazing. Hey. I love you. The um um oh I lost my train of thought. Carrie and Delroy. Um, getting to one of my favorite parts of the show is getting to to build these relationships with Carrie and Delroy and getting to watch them play out on screen. You know, people get to watch this whole journey of, of, uh, of our relationships growing throughout the show. They get to see that from point A to point B, character-wise and personally, which is really cool. Let's start with more wine, obviously. So, how'd you two meet? Through my dad. Oh, that's so sweet. Who just got out of prison. Oh. Wow. He was a drug dealer. Wow. Oh, wait. Drug dealers? What show is this? Yo, who do you think? SD is Paige's younger sister, her foster sister, and uh, she's a very religious, very devout Christian who also is very, um, what, what's the right PC word? Well, she's a little out there. You know, she's, she, she's a fun girl. She has a good time. And, and she is, you know, obviously the subject matter of this comedy is still heavy. It's, it's a lot. You can't, it's really hard to talk about prison and, and it not, and like torn up families and not let it be heavy. And, and it's interesting. SD's specific dynamic is, I think she, you can't quite tell if she's healed or if she doesn't deal with her issues. And what I love about SD and Paige's sisterhood is it's fun. Sisters are always there for each other. My own sister annoys me, but I love her and it's always fun. And what's really great is obviously we're watching through Paige's lens, but at the core, these two women, what they do have in common is that you know, they were in the foster system and they had each other and to see the the different ways that's affected two different women, two different women of color um, during this time and see how it manifests, it's, it, it's rich, it's deep, but it's really funny too. I want to talk to you more about getting into your character. How did you develop that character of a young Carrie Washington? So before I got the audition, I would watch clips of some of her movies and really like study her. And then on set, I would, whenever there was a scene that she, um, 
run when she's done I would come in like talking um, she I would um, always study her reactions of what the person's saying first then like say my dialogue what did you do for the audition huh what did you do for the audition oh what I did was prepare be confident and also felt guilty of saying words I'm not allowed to say it's not about what you owe someone else it's about who you want to be. Now you know it don't make no difference if the female's in love, the man don't love her back. You giving me relationship advice because I am the marriage and family therapist. Uh, Licensed and everything. I can prevent. I win! Oh, God damn. You're okay. 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 Okay.